These countries have all borrowed heavily from the IMF in recent years in order to finance economic development and to cope with the effects of natural disasters and other shocks. The IMF has provided these countries with loans on condition that they implement economic reforms, such as cutting government spending and raising taxes. The high levels of debt in these countries are a cause for concern, as they could make it difficult for them to repay their loans and could lead to economic instability. So, in this video, we are going to discuss 10 Caribbean countries most indebted to the IMF. The video is going to be amazing, make sure to stick till the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 10. Barbados Barbados has a significant amount of debt owed to the International Monetary Fund IMF. The IMF has approved several programs to help Barbados restore debt sustainability, strengthen the external position, and improve growth prospects. Number 9. Haiti Haiti has been heavily indebted to the International Monetary Fund IMF, for many years. Here is a timeline of Haiti's debt relief and financial support from the IMF. In 2006, Haiti's public and publicly guaranteed external debt was estimated at 1.3 billion US dollars in nominal terms as of end September 2005, equivalent to 1.1 billion US dollars in net present value terms. Haiti reached the decision point under the Enhanced Heavily Indebted Poor Countries Initiative, which qualified the country for debt relief. Number 8. Guyana Guyana has a history of being heavily indebted to the International Monetary Fund, IMF. In 1999, the IMF and the World Bank agreed that Guyana had met the requirements to receive about US$410 million in nominal debt relief. Guyana has been a member of the IMF since September 26, 1966. As of 2022, Guyana's total public sector debt declined to 42.9% of GDP. The risk of external and overall debt distress for Guyana remains moderate as of July 2022. Number 7. Antigua and Barbuda Antigua and Barbuda has received loans from the International Monetary Fund IMF, to support its economy and recover from mounting government debt. As of 2022, the country's public debt to GDP ratio is estimated to have declined to 87% from 97% in 2021. Antigua and Barbuda joined the INF in February 1982 and has had one arrangement with the organization. Number 6. Jamaica Jamaica is one of the most indebted countries in the world, with a public debt that reached a historic high of about 147% of GDP in 2013. The country has had a long-standing relationship with the International Monetary Fund IMF, and has sought financial support from the organization multiple times. Number 5. Belize Belize has been indebted to the International Monetary Fund IMF, in the past, but the country has taken steps to reduce its external debt. In 2022, Belize signed a debt for nature swap with the Nature Conservancy, which reduced the country's external debt by 10% of GDP. The swap is generating cash for conservation to protect the longest coral reef in the Western Hemisphere. Number 4. Dominica. Dominica is indebted to the International Monetary Fund, IMF, with outstanding purchases and loans totaling 13.97 million special drawing rights as of March 31, 2023. The country has had a total of eight arrangements with the IMF since becoming a member in December 1978. It's important to note that the search results do not specify that Dominica is the most indebted country to the IMF. The information provided only states the outstanding purchases and loans for Dominica. Number 3. St. Lucia St. Lucia has a significant level of debt owed to the International Monetary Fund IMF. Here are some key details about St. Lucia Lucia's debt to the IMF. Outstanding purchases and loans, 21.4 million as of March 31, 2023. St. Lucia has experienced a significant increase in public debt since 2019. In 2020, St. Lucia's gross public debt reached 96.9% of GDP. 
Number 2. Grenada Grenada has outstanding purchases and loans from the IMF of 24.81 million SDR special drawing rights as of March 31, 2023. Grenada has undergone two debt restructurings in 2004 to 2006 and 2013 to 2015 due to weak fiscal and debt situations that became unsustainable after external shocks hit the island economy. The two restructurings provided liquidity relief, with the second one involving a principal haircut. Number 1. St. Kitts and Nevis St. Kitts and Nevis has had a significant level of indebtedness to the International Monetary Fund INF, in the past. Here are some key points from the search results. In 2011, the IMF approved an $84 million three-year loan for St. Kitts and Nevis as part of a program aimed at boosting growth, strengthening public finances, and cutting public debt. The country had a debt of almost 200% of GDP at the end of 2010, which was the highest public debt level among all emerging markets and developing countries. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more interesting videos. Stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.